All right, well, after a long winter, your patio might benefit from a refresh. I know mine does. Uh, we're going to be spending more time outdoors, and what makes your home a home doesn't need to stop when you step out the door. Michael Stewart, also known as Signature Mike, is joining us here today with a lot of ideas. Signature Mike, good to see you. Thanks it's glad to, I'm so glad to be here today. Right. Yes. Thanks for coming. Uh, yeah. Boy, you brought some goodies, too. I did. <laughs> so when we think of outdoors, decorations, the like, uh, what should come to mind first if you're ready to redo the whole backyard. Well, it's all in the details. You know, so many times people will just uh, have a party in their backyard and they, they put the, a lot of effort into the food and they don't think about decorating so much. So just a little thought. And just like interior, it's the same principles for outdoor. So you kind of want to start from the ground up. We have some amazing rugs these days with these oh, performance yeah, fibers. So they can't sit in standing water, but once they get wet, they will dry quickly because they're polypropylene. Feel this. I mean, the nap on that is just really fantastic. You know, we're barefoot a lot outside. Yeah. I mean, that would feel really Really great, right. you know. So pretty. These are nice. Oh, yeah, these woven, cool. so they're meant to look like the indoor natural fibers, but they're polypropylene, so they're really, really great for outdoors. And I like the fact that you can go neutral or you can go very colorful. Absolutely, mm -hmm. that's why I brought all of these today. But yeah, outdoor can be super fun. Um, and and again, just think about it like you would uh, indoors. Maybe you want some drapery. People ask all the time, you know, about sunbrella fabrics. I mean, look at the options here: textures, so many, and then yeah. patterns as well. And there's some again, really great performance fabrics. So they are UV and stain resistant, so fantastic for outdoor use. So say if you have a pergola or some type of awning or whatever, that's a perfect It does. It's option. no different than being in your home, and it just frames your view, and it makes you feel like you're in a space that helps segregate the space, makes more intimate spaces. You know, our outdoor is so open, it creates intimate spaces if you're having a small gathering, but even a large gathering, it just makes it feel better put together. Some people, you mentioned patterns, but some people are like iffy about Mixing patterns, Absolutely. like how do you feel about that? Absolutely. Well, so we can, then we can go about the texture, which mm -hmm. a lot of people are doing indoor these days with a very neutral uh, color. So we can do it all about texture as opposed to pattern if they're scared of pattern. Maybe you put pattern on a pillow so it's not there all the time. You can yeah. mix it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then detail as yes, far as decorating. Talk about you know, these. we have greens and things outdoors, but again, they're in the landscape. So it's mm -hmm. nice maybe if you have a coffee table, um, a variety of your dining table, add some greens outdoors. These aren't necessarily meant to stay outdoor all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. These these are more of a, of a rubber like succulent, so they look real, but they're not real. This could stay out a little longer. Um, something like this is preserved. You might carry something from the indoor outdoor and if you're having a party outdoor and you're not going to miss it indoors if you're not indoor but um, orchids are really great a very natural looking plant here but it's yeah, fake you know it. if this were in my home and it were real it would have maybe one flower on it I don't know about you guys and I, I love the fact that you're talking about entertaining outdoors for instance the plates that you have these plates so you know we like paper plates but paper plate they doesn't have to be boring paper. they don't look, look at paper. these the little wave on there I went shopping around town this week to find some interesting things so it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be the white paper plates. Um, this, if you're a little more regal, a little fancier, oh. this is really nice. Kind of an Italian theme there. Yes. Isn't that nice? Ciao. Yeah, but that's all that. paper. <laughs> really, really super. You also have some lighting here on the table as well. So the candle. So that, you know citronella, how it has that smell that if you're eating, it doesn't smell good. Mm -hmm. These are pineapple. Cliff, smell that. Oh. Italian and I smelled it a minute yeah. ago. But these are oh. these are really great. It's okay. pineapple citronella. So it gets rid of the bugs, but it smells really nice. Take it home. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Absolutely. And melamine is still really hot. And look how great. This looks like uh, uh, porcelain. It looks like uh, ceramic. But isn't this really, really nice? This isn't ceramic. No, you can oh drop it. It's wow. not gonna break. You yeah, fantastic. And again, you can do if you're not if you're scared of color, you could do some a uh, pattern. You could do some color, but look, you could mix it up with something like this. Look how nice that looks. Yes, love Just that. really fantastic. Yes, that, absolutely. Yeah. You're, so you're literally making yeah. it impossible to not <laughs> look good. And I'm feeling backyard. so festive. Like, I want to go to the backyard and throw you a know, party. You know, it's about the details, and your guests yeah. will appreciate the thought that you put into it. You know, to make your sure. events just a little different, no matter how intimate it is or how many people you're entertaining. Mike, you have your location here. How did you get your start in all this? Oh, my gosh. Um, I have a theater background. And years ago, I, I went, went to college for theater, thought, I, this is not what I want to do. So I, I went back to college, got my interior design degree. And so just I'm a creative person, have been since I was a little kid. <laughs> uh, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, if anybody really needs 
that kind of kickstart to, to get moving to decorating, yes. what would you suggest to them? Um, maybe uh, text me, email me. <laughs> I don't know. Just uh, take a look in magazines and on the internet. There's plenty of images. Get inspired with what you see and, um, and, and try not to copy, duplicate, what, but have it um, inspire you, you know, to make decisions, design decisions. Absolutely. I love to empower people to make their own decisions. Well, this is a great awesome. way to start. Yeah. It's a great, great way to start. Uh, where can people go to get more information on you, Mike? Oh, I'm on Facebook. You can find me, Signature Mike. Uh, you can go to SignatureMike.com. You can find me anywhere. <laughs> he is. He's literally everywhere. <laughs> yeah, just, so. You turn around and boom, there's there I am. Mike right there. Uh, so great, great decorations here. I yeah. love the ideas. Yeah, I'm feeling very inspired. And like I said, festive. Like I, I want to awesome. throw a party. Yeah, absolutely. It makes you, you know, have a good time. And again, they the detail is just, it's all in the detail. It all always the is. Detail. Interior or exterior, which we, again, it tends to, we'd not, we don't put a lot of information, a lot of effort, let's say, into this, but. I, I, well, Mike, you know no, what? It's you. really, seriously, little effort with a great reaction, too. So yeah. great. Mike, thanks yeah. so much for coming Such on. Such a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you so much.